What's up, friends of the good mood? This is Money, and welcome to the next War Robots video right here, in which I'm gonna do two things, okay? Show you a a 4.5 million damage match here in free for all. Uh, this one right there. And B, I'm gonna show and explain to you guys the upcoming modules tested on the test server tomorrow, okay? And uh, while we're grilling with a Blitz robot, how we're while we're grilling this invader right here, let me introduce the next two modules for you guys. One is called the Death Mark. Okay, and one is called the anti-control. One is an active module that will increase the damage taken by an enemy you look at and you mark. And the other is a passive module that will uh, make you immune against lockdown and suppression effects for a certain amount of time. With a cooldown. Yes, it's a passive module, but it has a cooldown. <laughs> I'm gonna show and explain that in detail now with you guys right here. We just eliminated that invader, and now it's time for this Mercury to die as well. And uh, I'm gonna open the text right here in the background so I can work myself along the news. Um, and basically the first module, as I said, is an active module called Death Mark, okay? And the description goes as followed. Um, module marks the chosen target. The target will temporarily receive increased damage. It's 25% more damage for 7 seconds. It's an active module, so it cannot be leveled up. Uh, that means you cannot improve this effect any further. It's gonna be 25% more damage for 7 seconds on the enemy that is marked, okay? Now, when you mark an enemy, you have the active module, you mark the enemy. Not only you will be doing 25% more damage, everyone will do 25% more damage against him, okay? That means in free for all, for example, your other enemies will also deal 25% more damage against him. And in beacon rush or team modes, um, your team will also be able to do 25% more damage to this enemy, okay? That me and, and that's interesting because it also gives you, adds a little more of a team play um, element to it uh, because the crazy thing is you don't need to have line of sight with your enemy to mark him even through a wall you can look at someone and press the button uh, the active module button to mark him for death even through the wall even through a, uh, even at long distance I would assume you can do this and, a, and and that means and a friend of yours that's currently fighting him will immediately benefit from the 25% more damage. So it's really a, it's more than just a module for yourself. It also activates or, um, you know, makes better team play happen. You can help your teammates with this um, by marking the, their enemies they're fighting right now for death. All right. So um, yeah, if you get marked for death yourself by an enemy. You will have a red glowing around yourself uh, and that will signify you that you're now taking 25% more damage for the next 7 seconds. Now, when you mark an enemy for death or a friend of yours, a teammate has marked your enemy, and then there will be a red indicator showing the marked for death icon above him. And the module will look like this, okay? This is not gonna be the symbol necessarily. I, I guess that the symbol will be kind of a skull, um, but uh, this is how the module will look like in the hangar, okay? When you, you know, for example, through scroll through all the available active modules, this is how it will probably look like with the, you know, bluish button around it, um, that this will be the death mark symbol, okay? So let's minimize that and go back to the text while we're locking down whatever the heck this is right there. Uh, it's a Natasha. Oh, that's right. All right, we have uh, the second module is even more interesting and it's it's I'm really looking forward to this one guys It's a passive module that will allow skill to work again. Okay, because it's something that you can rely on It's a passive module uh, with the following description automatically removes negative effects and provides temporary protection against them reloads after activation the more modules, the shorter the reload time. Three max modules provide permanent protection against negative effects. So, let's imagine you have a Pursuer. The Pursuer, I think, has three passive module slots. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think the Pursuer can attach three passive modules. The Blitz Robot can do that too. Now, if you add three times the passive module Anti-Control, which looks like this. This is the symbol or, or the, the how the module anti-control will look like. You see it right here? And um, if you add this three times to your robot and it's max level, you will have permanent protection against lockdown and suppression. 
all the time because there is no cooldown between your uh, protection. However, if you only run one anti-control passive module on your robot, you will still get a 10% pr uh, 10 second long protection against lockdown and uh, and um, and suppression. And the interesting part is it automatically activates. Okay, so how this works is. Let's take a, the uh, invader as an example. The invader jumps at you, lands, boom, suppresses you with its, you know, suppression jump. Now it, the, the module kicks in, it automatically removes the suppression and it also provides you with a 10 second protection against suppression and lockdown for the next 10 seconds. And that's what with just one of these modules, okay? So um, I think the best way to use these modules then is to actually just use one. You don't need three of them because you have a 10 second protection every time somebody starts a negative effect against you. So the, the invader jumping at you now will not suppress you and his lockdown weapons will not lock you down for 10 seconds. So you have a 10 second time window to I A fight him and B to escape him if you don't want to fight him because you cannot be locked down for these 10 seconds you know and that's crazy because the lockdown weapons are so dominant right now in the game a they bypass energy shields which the shotguns don't do b they have this cone angle of horizontal cone which means that basically you can hit locked darn down uh, targets or stealthed targets better than the sh normal shotguns can another advantage c they do more damage than the normal shotguns do even though they all already suppress a a lockdown enemies and they have the energy shield bypass they even do more damage the uh, energy shotguns the lockdown and of course the fourth pro is they can actually lock you down so which the other shotguns can't do there is four out of four advantages on the energy shotguns now finally with this module there comes something that will like make them less effective you can finally counter the effect of lockdown and that's really good um, you can finally use skill because you know you have the module and you can know and rely on the fact that you're gonna be protected from that okay you know that the invader jumping at you will not be able to suppress you and he will not be able to um to lock you down for 10 seconds no look i'm teaming up with the mercury here against the invader right there because the invader is second place he's the bigger threat to me and i know i can one tap the in the mercury right after <laughs> that was cool so uh, let's read the stats again passive module okay uh, stats at max level suppression and lockdown protection du duration 10 seconds okay cooldown 21 seconds so this is the cooldown i've been speaking about if you get suppressed or if you get locked down now for 10 seconds it removes the effect and makes you uh, immune to these kinds of effects and after these 10 seconds with one of the anti-control modules you'll have a 21 second cooldown in which it will not proc again it cannot happen again last stand for example has no cooldown it will only activate once right you all know that last stand can only activate once and and then it's and then it's useless pretty much all right and uh, this module here will activate multiple times but it will have a 21 second cooldown after its effect takes place okay and uh, the more of these anti-control modules you equip the shorter the cooldown gets until eventually you have no cooldown whatsoever anymore if you have three of them running. Which I don't recommend. I don't think it's even necessary to have three running. I think it's enough to actually have one of them and provide the important uh, protection for you for the next fight that you can rely on. And then if you f win the fight or you escape the fight, you know for 20 seconds you cannot be protected against these effects anymore. But knowing that will help you. So I think one module is probably going to be enough. And um, and I think the best, the most, I, I can already make a prediction about how the future will look like, ladies and gentlemen. The future will be that... Um, you will have on every robot that has two module slots, passive modules, you have anti-control once and you have last stand as the second module. Those will be must-have modules for the end gamer, for the absolute high-end uh, meta player, okay? The meta player will run anti-control and last stand. It's clear 
100% clear to me that this is what's going to happen, okay? And um, let's keep reading the stats. When someone is trying to lock down or suppress you, you will see a blue flash of effect negation. And just after this, you will receive 10 seconds in vulnerability from both effects. And your anti-control starts reloading with three maxed modules. And your anti-control uh, reload reloads faster. Wait a minute. Um... With three max modules, your anti-control reloads faster than you, than the invulnerability duration. So, um, interesting. Okay. And that's why you're temp uh, all the time uh, protected. This, by the way, here was the uh, match that we just fought. 4.4 million damage. That's insane, right? That's a lot of damage, guys. With 17 kills here. Because there were so many invaders in the enemy team. So, um, I'm just jumping to another part of the video because we're not done with the news. There's more news that I need to tell you. Um, the, that was the uh, passive module um, anti-control and before the active module death mark. Now, we have more news. The machine guns will be reworked. So, um, the uh, Punisher, Punisher T and Avenger will have a, a different uh, shooting mechanism. Uh, and animation slightly changed, okay? And the new effects for lockdown and suppression and repair. They will also be looking different uh, in this test server. This is the test server coming up within the next uh, 24 hours, basically. 20 hours. Tomorrow, <laughs> okay? You're gonna see and test all these things tomorrow, and obviously I'm gonna make a test server video with you guys and show you the, um, the effects in action, basically. All the news and changes I'm going to be showing to you guys in the upcoming um, test server tomorrow with some nice gameplay. Oh, he's got last stand, but the good thing is I've got it here. Bye-bye. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's it. Tomorrow you're gonna get the gameplay for all that. Hopefully you guys stay tuned for it. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and comment down below. And if you haven't already, hit subscribe as brutal as a man can hit for more. Thanks for bearing with you. You guys are awesome as always. Money Gaming signing off.